It's hard to find more misinformation, disinformation, de denial, deceit, and delusion packed into one little video from one state senator in Arkansas. The uh, state senator, a black woman, a black person of color, she reminds us, just repeats one lie after another, all to all in an attempt to defeat a stand-your-ground bill in front of the state legislature. Just like Jesse Smollett said, he was upset about being mugged by those two white guys wearing Trump hats and yelling, this is Trump country, MAGA country. He said he was upset, not because what they did to him, because of all the other people, all the other white guys in MAGA hats that are roaming the country, attacking black people for no reason whatsoever. That's what Jesse Smollett said. This state senator says, we can't have stand your ground laws in Arkansas because everybody knows people like her son will get shot by white people because white people are always doing that kind of crap, aren't they? They're always just roaming the countryside looking for black people to kill and shoot and harass for no reason whatsoever. Well, we know the opposite is true. Let's hear the let's hear some of these fantasies of this state senator. And then let's uh, let's go right into some reality from Little Rock. So I take issue with that. I'm the only person here of color, okay? No, I don't. Yes, you do. No, I don't. What the hell are you gonna do? Shoot me? It doesn't take much to look on the local news every night and see how many black kids, black boys, black men are being killed with these stand your ground defenses that these people raise, then they get off. So I take issue with that. I'm the only person here of color, okay? I am a mother too. And I have a son. And I care as much for my son as y'all care for y'all's. But my son doesn't walk the same path as yours does. So this debate deserves more time. I'm in Pine Bluff. We have killings regularly down there. Mr. Hunter knows he's our prosecutor. Now, I don't know where the heck, I know where you are from, Gary. And I don't know really where Mr. Ballinger is from. But I can tell you that for a long time since I've been back here in Arkansas, I have feared for my son's life. Now he's 27 and he's out of Arkansas. And I thank God he is when you're bringing up crap like this. It offends me. And then to limit the debate too? This is crazy. You don't have to worry about your children, Will. I worry about my son. And I worry about other little black boys and girls. And people coming into my neighborhood, into my city, saying they got open carry rights, walking down in front of my doggone office in front of the courthouse. That's a bully. Do I have a right to stand my ground with some crazy ass person walking around with a doggone gun? I don't know what the hell he intends to do, but I know I am scared, I feel threatened. Just like some of y'all walking around here up in the legislature with these damn guns. That, what's his name? Garner came in here walking around here with a damn gun in his, under his coat. You can see the damn print. Senator, you need to stop. No, I don't. Yes, you do. No, I don't. What the hell are you going to do? Shoot me? Senator. Senator, shit. Go to hell. I'm telling you, this deserves more attention. You want to come up here with all these little uh, NRA bills and bills that Alec have and all that stuff. I'm talking about my son's life. And I'm talking about the lives of other black kids. Do what the hell you want to do. Go ahead, but you can't silence me. You got your damn silence gun out the damn chamber today. But you are not going to silence me. So why are those other state senators so eager to appease her, calm her, soothe her? Senator's my friend. 
She's sitting up there imputing every evil and vile motive and action to them because of their race. And they're sitting there going, oh, she's my friend. Why are Republicans so eager to acquiesce in the face of this black hostility? This, by the way, this, this, this isn't just about guns, right? It's also, it is also about how Republicans are so weak on race, so weak on, de, on, on exposing denial, deceit, and delusion. They are just going to be permanently vulnerable to these attacks until they start answering them with something other than we gave you midnight basketball last year. How much? How many more millions and billions do you need this year? I mean, that's the only thing Republicans have. We gave you some jobs. We gave you this. We gave you that. Why aren't you happy now? Why aren't we friends now? Why? Could it be you're not really into us and it doesn't really have anything to do with midnight basketball, stand your ground laws, uh, jobs, all that other kind of stuff. Let's let's go right down to Little Rock. So Little Rock is a center of black violence and denial, okay? I know. The Clinton Library is there. I've been there. It's funny. If you hear Rush, when, when it came out, you heard Rush talk about it. He called it the double wide. It's called. It's supposed to look like a bridge to, to the future or something. I swear, when you go see that library, it doesn't look like a bridge. It looks like a double wide trailer. Look it up on Google. It's very strange. That's Little Rock. So Little Rock is a center of black violence and denial. Lots of shootings. Lots of black and white crime. Lots of fellas carrying guns, robbing people. Lots of fellas just shooting each other just for the hell of it. I, mean, I just picked up... We've done a lot of stuff on Little Rock. A lot of stuff on Arkansas. Easy to find on on, 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 Go, on DuckDuckGo. Almost said Google. I just pulled up a couple we've done. I mean, here's a mass shooting. Three, three of the fellas killed... Uh, somebody else injured in a Little Rock shooting. That was the fellas doing the shooting and getting shot. And why don't we run down to uh, something that everybody probably... I had forgotten. I didn't even know we did a story on it. There were over 25 people shot in this nightclub. One time, Little Rock... The search is on for the gunmen who opened fire inside a packed nightclub in Little Rock, Arkansas. When the smoke cleared, 25 people were shot and three others hurt in the melee. Two remain in critical condition. Winnie Wright of our Little Rock affiliate is at the scene. Little Rock police are calling it a mass shooting. At least two dozen people are injured after shots rang out in the packed downtown Little Rock Power Ultra Lounge nightclub around 2.30 Saturday morning. Police were left scrambling, following witnesses and victims to at least four nearby hospitals. One of those victims, only 16 years old. Uh, this does uh, appear, as the mayor uh, alluded to, to be a continuation of disputes from some of our local uh, groups who have been disputing that you've seen some of the things playing out in our streets that has resulted in drive-by shootings and, and other shooting victims, uh, a few of which that we have warrants uh, for, for her arrest. The Arkansas Beverage Control Board has suspended the club's license to, quote, preserve public health and safety, saying the fact that someone underage was in the club is, quote, of great concern. And let's head over to, well, this just happened the other day. Their video was released the other day. They, they caught a guy uh, driving around in a stolen car. Later, it turned out he had a gun, pulled him over. He wouldn't get out of the car, wouldn't show his hands, wouldn't do any of this stuff. Then he used his car to try to run over the cop didn't turn out well for him. It started just after 11 a.m. on February 22nd when Little Rock police say a license plate reader alerted detectives to a stolen car. Police say they use city cameras to track it from 12th Street to Fair Park and until Rodney Parham and Canis, which is when officers caught up. Hands, hands. That's Officer Charles Starks talking to 30-year-old Bradley Blackshire. Get out of the car. Get out of the car. Dude, get out of the car. Get out of the car. He's refusing to get out of the car. A few seconds later. Get out of the car. Get out of the car. Get out of the car. Get out of the car, dude. Search for it. Search for it. Search for it. Hands up! 
watch from this angle as another officer comes to help. You can see the shooting unfold on a business surveillance camera here. It's after shots are fired. The woman in the car gets out. Hey, can I jump out? Get out. Come over here. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Get on the ground for him. He has a pistol in here. Hey, she said he's got a gun. As more officers show up, they try to get medical help for Blackshire. He, he might be 10-7 right now, but we need to pull him out of the car for him. The 30-year-old died. Officer Starks can be heard on the video saying he might have sprained his knee. So is this part of the story that black people are relentless victims of relentless white racism all the time, everywhere? That explains everything. It must be. That's what the senator said. I'm afraid for my son. Please, sir. I want some more. So where's the damage to your son going to come from? Is it going to come from some white dude uh, in his house holding a gun, trying to protect himself from somebody breaking into his house? And then Little Rock, that person breaking into his house, is going to be black. Capiche? Is that the danger to your son? Your, your, your son's definitely in danger if he goes around, uh, if he goes around breaking into people's houses, trying to run over cops, shooting people out, shooting other other fellas at random. Yeah, if your son doesn't do any of that stuff, he's going to be okay. As long as he stays away from the fellas who, who do that, do do that kind of stuff. But now you want to take guns away from from homeowners and white people in Little Rock who, who are very aware of this enormous level of crime and violence, the enormous level of official denial, deceit, and delusion surrounding it. You're going to take, you don't want them to be able to protect themselves? Well, that's pretty sick. That's really a sign of black on white hostility. That's really a sign how eager you are not to make the black kids angry.